Hi everyone, I'm May Kay Beeler and we are here at the Kent State University Flight School Hangar to talk about tire inspection and how you can determine if your tires are airworthy. Joining me now is Rob Robson with Goodyear. Hey Rob, thanks for being with us today. I know you've got lots of great information for us, so let's start by asking what is the first thing we need to look at when we're pre-flighting the aircraft? Well, certainly the first thing to look at on the airplane are the tires. And the most important thing you can do for the tires as far as inspection is to maintain proper inflation. Inflation is critical for both getting long life out of your tires and having safe use for the tires. A good example is running a tire as low as 10% underinflated can lead to damage internally that ruins the tire. So can I tell just by looking at tires if the pressure's okay? No, May Kay, you really can't. Take a look at the airplane behind us. On the one side, the tire is properly inflated. The other side, the tire is 30% underinflated. But if you look at the airplane, you can't really tell the difference. Taxing this airplane right now would lead, start leading to damage to the underinflated tire. Oh my goodness, well how often should we check the pressure? You want to check the pressures daily before the first flight of the day. Every tire may lose some pressure, uh, up to 5% is allowable in 24 hours. So it's very important to check that pressure and not let it go multiple days where you can get easily to that 10% under inflation where damage can be done. Okay, so what's the best way to check the pressure? Definitely with a calibrated pressure gauge, digital gauge or a round dial gauge, either is fine. Uh, check your POH or the inspection manual for the airplane should have the proper pressure to inflate to. Okay, so we've checked tire pressure. Now what's next? Check that there's enough tread left on the tire. You want to remove a tire if it's worn past the bottom of any groove at any point. Okay, well what about uneven tread wear? Uneven tread wear is okay from the tire standpoint as long as it's not worn past the wear limits or if it doesn't cause any vibration. Now, you do want to check to find what the source of the uneven wear is for the tire, uh, whether it's underinflation, overinflation, uh, improper gear alignment. Uh, some airplanes just have a tendency to wear one side faster than the other. So can you swap out the tires to even out the wear? Certainly. It's so similar to rotating tires on a car, except you have to dismount the tires and remount them facing the opposite direction on the wheel. Okay, so what else should we be looking for? Anything that might make the tire unsafe. Uh, Goodyear's Aircraft Tire Care Maintenance Manual has a whole section with pictures on different conditions and the removal criteria for each. But as a general rule, you want to remove any damage on there, any tire with any damage where you can see the cords down at the bottom of the damage. And what are some of the types of tire damage we can expect to see? Uh, one thing to look for is flat spots, uh, especially in a flight school environment. Um, flat spots are not uncommon, but in and of themselves, they're not a cause for removal. You only have to remove a flat spot if it wears the tire past limits at that point, or if it causes an unacceptable vibration. Okay, now what about limits for cuts or foreign object damage to the tire? As a general rule with cuts, anytime the cut extends down to fabric, so you can see the cords in the bottom of the cut, you want to remove that tire. And Rob, looking at this tire, what happened here? Well, this is a classic example of a hydroplane skid burn. Entire hydroplanes that'll slide on the water and build up enough heat to melt just the top bit of rubber off the tire. Uh, the good news is, as ugly as this is, as long as there's still tread left within limits, you can use this tire still. And what about sidewall damage? Well, it's not uncommon on sidewall to have some cracking. Uh, tires have been sitting out for a long time, especially outside exposed to the sun. Um, similar to cuts, if there's any cracks, any, any other kind of cuts, any damage on the sidewall, as long as that doesn't extend down to the cords, the tire is fine to stay in service. However, if you find a bulge on the sidewall, that could indicate an internal separation and that tire should be removed immediately. Anything else? Well, sometimes we might see chemical contamination on the tire. The airplanes may drip different fluids onto the rubber. Uh, you want to clean this off with a soap and water solution. Uh, if it leaves any marks or if it's swollen or spongy to the touch, then you want to remove the tire. Okay, great information. Final words? Inflation, inflation, inflation. It's hard to overemphasize how important proper inflation is for your tires, both from getting the best life out of your tires and from a safety standpoint. Underinflation in particular is very damaging to the tire, and the FAA recommends removing any tire that's been rolled on or taxied with less than 90% inflation. Um, 
These things we've talked about and more are covered in our aircraft tire care and maintenance manual, which is available for download off the, our website. It's a free download and that's GoodyearAviation.com. Thank you so much, Rob. Thanks for that great information. You can find the answers to all of your aviation tire questions in Goodyear's Aircraft Tire Care and Maintenance Manual. Download it for free at www.goodyearaviation.com.